it is a mine wonderful minecraft day it is june 7th which means 1.19 just dropped today at 10 30 at least central's time where i am staying so i believe it's 10 30 eastern time but we are going to go ahead and start a 1.19 survival world So of course it is going to be game mode and survival. We are going to keep cheats off. We, this is not a modded. Literally there is no mods because fabric API has not even dropped yet. So structures on bonus chest. We are going to go ahead and turn on world type default. I do not have a specific seed for this one. So we may have to explore a little bit before we can access any of the new content. But... I do plan on streaming this weekend in the 1.19 prep world that we've been working on. I've done a whole bunch of stuff off screen to prep for that because I've been spending several hours working on it and we've gotten pretty far on that end. It is Amethyst64 on Twitch if anybody wants to check out those live streams. I'm also streaming on YouTube but not quite as much. That schedule, I actually need to go in and edit that schedule because that schedule on Twitch has shifted. My work schedule has shifted and I am now working slightly different hours that make it so that I cannot stream on Thursday and Saturday nights anymore. Though, you will be getting a regular Sunday night update or stream and possibly still getting a Thursday night one. It may be a little bit earlier in the afternoon, however. Now that lo world has generated in, let's see. It's weird. It's been a while since I haven't played with my map. But we can do this. So, of course, it is day one. Day one of Mel Minecraft would be... Food, bed, and a base of some kind. Now, this isn't a full starter house. It is just a basic base. Ooh! Two mountains right off the bat. That is nice. Especially considering this is a blind seed. Ooh, with a dripstone cave. I like this one. Good seed drop. Um, probably around episode 5, episode 10, after we get a couple of exploration episodes in, that kind of thing, we will go ahead and drop a seed. I know I haven't done that in the past. Um, hopefully if I do that this time, if we have any incidents and I lose my world due to corruption or anything like that, um, we can still recover that. As much as I want to climb this mountain, and it would be really nice to, I am missing several things that I need to do that safely. And that would be starting out with, um, would be leather boots so that I don't fall into any powdered snow. We are going ahead and getting this cobblestone real quick because we have a couple of pieces of iron over here that I want to grab real quick off the bat just because we are already up here and they shouldn't be that hard to grab however you need a stone pickaxe for them if I'm not mistaken craft the pickaxe and then not use it. We must be pretty high up for there to be this much iron right off the bat. We are going to have to ex stop on the iron here pretty quick. Because we need to get some more of that first day stuff out of the way. And 
I'm too high up. I don't see the sun. But let's see, rather than killing the sheep, I've already got iron. And this will make things easier later in the game. that should give me... Let's go ahead and turn up our render distance. Oh. Um, we are on my main laptop. I did just get it back yesterday evening, actually. So it was just in the nick of time. They finally got the part in. So I set things up and we are on it at the moment. Awesome. Coordinates negative eighty three, one sixty three, eighty four. So we will have to remember that for later, just in case we get lost. And we had a whole bunch of sheep over here. Where'd they all go? Oh, it's running down here. Let's not do that too much. I don't have any tools of that nature yet. Should be some more around here somewhere. Right there you are. We've got some floating blocks there as well. It is a nice pretty area on over here. We're going to go ahead and head on back up here. Haven't done too much exploring yet. Hmm. I'm not a real big fan of savannas. I keep getting spawned in savannas though, so not much I can do on that front. Um, spawn is right over here so I sort of want to stay near here got plenty of caves to explore got plenty of stuff to get those basic materials out of the way um, got some dripstone caves over here so we don't have to worry about finding some of that. We will have to find a lush cave, but I think it's a good place to make a beginning base is right here. So, now we don't have any of the markers of any of the new 1.19 biomes, but it has other qualities that I like that I think will be useful for us to be able to go exploring and find some of those. Now, my goal here is, um, of course, the deep dark. So, I'm not 100% sure, and please leave a comment down below and give me your thoughts on it. I've been thinking about it. Where would the wooden fall? Would it fall as something to do before the end dragon? Is it something to do before or after? Is it something to do before or after the wither? I mean, it's pretty deep down, surrounded by lava and that kind of thing. I think that's something that we have to sort of think about. 
but I would like your thoughts on that. Where do you think it should fall? Because we're going to come across it eventually. Um, what are your thoughts on the recovery compass? My thoughts are it's pretty interesting, but at the same point in time, I never did get to go back and check. Does the compass stay in your inventory if you die? Because you can only get the shards to make the recovery compass in the deep dark. And if you're using a map like Xeros or something like that, you don't really need it. But, because most of the time they record your death spark points. But, if you're not, if you're on plain vanilla like we are right now, if it doesn't stay on your inventory, so it can't lead you, and you can only get the stuff to make it in the deep dark, by that point, is it actually really useful? I mean, it's cool, and it will be really nice, but what, are we supposed to rush into the deep dark, spawn the warden, as the warden spawns, grab the shards, and rush out? Because that's one of the number one ways to spawn the warden, um, have the warden spawn in, is to open a chest. Because that automatically sends off, sets off the sensors around you, which then spawn the warden. So, you're supposed to grab them as the way the warden spawns, run away, so that it can't catch you. But I mean, that warden is fast. I don't know if anybody's fought it in any of the snapshots. How many of you have actually fought it in the snapshots? But it's fast. I mean, it's not the fastest mob in the game, but it can be quick, and I don't know if they fixed the glitch. I know there was a glitch going on when they first dropped it, where if one had already spawned and you came back, it would spawn a second warden. Not that that wasn't cool, just incredibly, I was glad I was in creative. I believe that's been fixed, however. Okay. So I've collected a lot of wool and other things. We're at our first night. It's time to go ahead and craft our bed. And our next project is going to be gathering some wood. Which is not going to be as easy as my normal games because I normally play with a mod called Falling Tree, which is really, really nice. Fabric API, however, has not been updated, which also means I'm not playing with Optifine or anything like that either, because literally 1.19 dropped a few hours ago. So we will be leaving a couple of floating trees behind. I don't have the patience to try and go up to cut them down. I know, that's not good manners. But, and it means you lose a lot of drops. But, I've got one sapling for later. Which means I've got a guarantee of at least that. Okay, put those on together and set that one over here. I'm gonna drop some of the rest of this on in here. That's going with us. As is that. And that just in case. And there we go on that front. 
I think this is the earliest I've ever gotten iron. Like, already having iron ingots. But, moving on. Next thing we need to take care of before we even start on a base is we need food. And there's a couple of ways to do this. We are, however, at the moment, just going to focus on oh, a water source. So let's see. That looks like what looks like a flower forest down here. Is there a stream or something that goes through over here? I don't hear it and I should, which is a pain. So I guess we're gonna go this way. I mean, yes, we have the various points, waterfalls over th like that. We had another one up there, but I was hoping for something more like a stream, a beach or something. Well, let's carefully maneuver around this. My hunger bar is at like nothing. Oh, we have a spider watching us over there. However, it is daytime and I am working on a hostile mobs video um, to go with the Minecraft basics that we were discussing. Um, it will not include bosses, but it will include most of the general mobs that you will find in Minecraft. This is going to be fun climbing back up. may have to go around. We will be probably going after the warden before the Ender Dragon, just because it is a 1.19 video, so that should be the focus. The focus is the 1.19 items and bosses and stuff. Which means we will be having to hunt down a woodland mansion and finding the Allay as well. And probably a few outposts, see if that gl glitch got fixed. Um, there was a small problem with the LA being a um, transparent mob, I believe it's called. Not quite sure. But either way, a mob that, instead of being stopped by solid blocks, blocks can just shift right through it. Phase right through it, I guess I should say. The problem was that the LA was, because of the outpost shape and it being in just that fence building off the side, it was escaping and it was just gone. Had some problems with that in the mansions too, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know if that changed or not. We'll have to check. Because I wanted this to be more exploration rather than already knowing what's happening and all of the changes and stuff, I have, though I've kept to date with some of the glitches and stuff that has been taken care of, the actual mob behavior and some of that kind of stuff, I have stayed away from so that we can learn it in game. That will probably change over the next couple of days, but I have
have gone ahead and done that. Okay. Second time. So, once again, what are we looking for in the 1.19 series? I know what I would like to see in my 1.19 series. I really like that we already have an ice. We don't have to go hunting for ice. We already have it. Um, as I was saying, I know what I would like to see in my 1.19 series. What would you guys like to see in this 1.19 series? Remember, it is survival. It's not hardcore. Um, I don't like my death count too high, but if we want to do a couple of tricks that end up in a couple of death counts, I'm not adverse. Mm. But what do we want to do? Of course, we want to go find an ancient city. We want to explore the deep dark. Um... Want to go see that frame that I'm pretty sure is going to eventually be a portal. It may not be yet, but I'm pretty sure at some point in time it is going to be a portal to something. But we are now in 1.19, so it is time to start exploring all and finding out these questions because I'm sure there's some things that they've kept out of the snapshots. It is time to go exploring and finding those things and seeing what answers we can get. So leave a note in the comments. What would you like to see in the 1.19 survival play? And we'll see if we can add it in. Like in previous um, plays, check out my playlist for the full things and I will try and do some um, milestone episodes as well the end fight of course diamond level one that kind of stuff but also 100 days 150 days 200 days probably more like 250 uh, 500 days We've done a couple of those in the past. I believe our last 200 days, we went, um, we went after a guardian farm, which we were not prepared for. Um, well, it wasn't a guardian farm. It was an underwater monument because I wanted to turn it into a guardian farm. That did not happen, by the way. And unfortunately, that world is now lost awesome because I had I finished off that map and we had like eight guardian farms or we had eight underwater ruins right there in like a line the world had like glitched in it had to have been a glitch because they were like in a solid line across and we were just about to move our base and start on our mega build too but we can't look to the past. We have to look to the for future. So, seed drop about episode five. Episode 10, somewhere in there, get a couple of exploration episodes. Go find the closest mangrove swamp first. And go from there. So, in the meantime, this is going to be our first episode of 1.19 Survival Let's Play, or Survival, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, and have a great and wonderful Minecraft day. This is Amethyst64, signing off.